kid you not, I'm here an hour and 30 minutes early and there's people in front of me. All right, put my bag there. Take one of these rocks. Keep the rock on. That's my too older. That should be good. I need another rock. Say that should be good. I can grab another rock. Over well, here for rummage sales at the red door. Oh, you heard me already back there. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're right. You'll watch out for that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of bun up shirts. <laughs> Didn't really get a whole lot this time. about these at the flea market, I don't know if they still want them. What'd you find, Mindy? Uh, a couple things. Oh, yeah. yeah, probably. This is gonna break if I take it. So maybe do I play the odds and hope it's here at the end? Or do I just probably break it? Yeah, I just gotta play the odds. This is kinda of nice, it's new, but it's nice. Some really nice colors on it. Oh, this is where the good stuff is. Find something. It's a bomb to a butter dish. There's Pyrex, but you need the top. Looks like a pressure. It is. That's nice. It's like mixed, it's not all the same. Always. I 
bag's now insanely heavy. I don't know what I just grabbed, but something made it really heavy. I don't know if that's hand blown. I don't think it is. Ooh, Wedgwood. That's that good stuff. Kind of overloaded here. I don't know if they're going to yell at me. But what the heck, right? Then when I grab that guitar, also. Mine's at the hips. Well, my age too. Mine's at the hips don't move anymore. It's $25, but I think it's a good one. Make sure it's not broken. No, it looks like it's in good shape. Alright, so I bought this guitar. It's $25. It looks like it's in great shape. I don't think you can buy a guitar of this quality for 25 bucks. So... I did a quick search on eBay. I just typed in the name of the brand. And there's one up there for like 300 and then there's one that's like destroyed for like 100 But that's as far as I got. I didn't go past that. So I mean, they're gonna be 50 or 60 for like $20, but I don't think so. So probably one of my coolest finds. That are stuff, not many clothes and not really a lot of, oh goodness, I almost just completely lost my door there. I have to go back and get my heavy bag. That bag is so heavy always happens i kind of got smart over the years in the last three years i brought my own garbage bag one that's like not exactly contractor grade because all the contractor bags around here are just like so big uh, but just a better plastic so it doesn't rip i had that happen once it literally ripped right there as i was walking back not gonna happen again i don't have a lot of faith that my one item survived but we will see here in a couple seconds Voila, so this is everything I fit into that garbage bag. Um, I spent a total of $15 for all of this, and I spent $25 on the guitar that's over there. Uh, that thing also did survive, so I'm shocked beyond shocked, but it survived. Uh, yeah, so this, this sale is a bag sale straight from the beginning. It's not a bag sale after 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock like a lot of rummage sales do. They might have everything marked, you know, any of the hats are a dollar, clothing's a dollar, linens are three dollars, glassware's 50 cents. This, uh, I don't know what she's doing. What a dog. Just chewed this whole thing off. That was the price tag. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this, uh, this Roman shell doesn't do that. Like I said, it's strictly a bag sale, and then you buy the size of bag that you want. So a small grocery bag is five dollars. Um, a tall grocery bag is ten dollars, and then a garbage bag is fifteen. And like I said, I do bring my own garbage bag just because I, you know, I want a higher quality bag with all the stuff in it. It would have ripped if I used just a normal kitchen garbage bag. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's jump into this. So I'm not going to go through everything because you can probably just see it, most of it just on camera of salts and get out of the way. I can show you the first piece. Yo. You. You can scoot back. Just gotta watch out. So I have a cutting board. Those are always good. A couple insulators. I don't know if insulators are gonna be hot this year. A couple of those. This one's a little bit nicer. Uh, usually around here you find a lot that are marked Heming Gray. This one's not marked anything. It does have a B, so I don't know if that's for Brookfield. Hammer, I don't know why I grabbed that. These are those magnets. Uh, the Iron Pig's Cup, some magnets for Easton High School. Some Pampered Chef. I figure I could probably make a little bit of money back for this Pampered Chef stuff. I know it's not what it was 20 years ago, but it still has salsa. You're literally looking. Calm down. You're out of control. No, don't get fired up around the plates and glass where we're not going to have a good time here. Uh, got some baseball gloves that are small. I didn't know if this is play school. I don't think that car goes to it, but this might be play school stuff. A couple figures in there. 
some religious items which sell really really well at Lamerville. I sold all of that for I think uh, 20 bucks but I probably sold maybe 15 or so for like a dollar two dollars a piece. So I figured I could probably make a little bit of money back on that. You got some gunk on your eye. Don't know what this is. I thought it was maybe for washing your eye out but it's quite large for that. That ain't that ain't gonna work. Maybe it is. <laughs> kind of stupid. I don't even know what it is. I'm just throwing on my eyeball. A um, couple other things. Copper foil. Some mousses. What the heck? Sauce, you're falling apart. Your hair is falling out. Some mousses. A little bit of pewter. Some shoes. Uh, the people who were first in line ran right to the shoes. These look like they're in decent shape. So that's not too bad. Some glassware. Some eagle stuff. Uh, I never thought these things would sell really well, but for some reason they do. Uh, all the glassware around here, these Eagles cups sell better than anything else uh, in terms of like teams. So that's worth a little bit. Some wedge wood, two plates. There's another plate underneath that. Uh, it's both from Cornell, <laughs> Cornell University. I did find some more of the glassware. Here's some more of that. You guys see that green depression a bunch of golf hats mixed in with some baseball hats baseball bats softball i did get one one softball glove this is the first thing that i picked up at the whole rummage sale was a softball glove iron pigs hat brand new so that's kind of cool i'm going to show that thing here in a bit watch out souls you're walking on the merchandise Walking on the merchandise. Some clothes. Uh, not not many clothes. So you're everywhere today. Not many clothes at this sale. This stuff stuck together. I want the bottom hat. This looks like it's more like a costume hat. It's also hey. Yoo hoo. Put this on. This one's serious. It's like a Smokey the Bear hat. That one's serious. I don't know if that's Smokey the Bear, military, or what. Kind of cool. Silver plate. I got this quilt. It's new. That. Um, but this piece. I just looked it up. I did a Google search. Probably should have got the other one because it seems like they sell in pairs. But the other one was all cracked and repaired on the handle. And they didn't do a good job of repairing it. And you guys might remember I picked up that one Roseville piece a while back. Really expensive one. It was like a $400 piece, but it had a, a chunk out of the bottom. I, I, I barely sold it for $5. Barely. Um, it's kind of like a, a pity buy by someone. Um, so I kind of just stay away from any sort of pottery that's broken or repaired in any sort of way. This one looks like it's all there. Keep looking at this thinking it's a crack, but it's not. That's just the... Uh, whatchamacallit. But anyway, I did a Google search. I think the first thing that popped up was a pair for like $408. So uh, I think that's a decent piece. I don't know if I'll get a hundred bucks for it, but just chewing on more boxes. But it's a good piece. Lastly, the last piece I got, this guitar, which I had the name on it, but salsa chewed off the thing. I think it was Emperor. Emperor? E-M-P-E-R-A-D-O-R. -E and I, it's kind of funny. This is the first time I think I've ever found a guitar at a yard sale, at an auction, whatever it might be, that I had possibility of getting my hands on that isn't completely destroyed. Like, this thing looks like it's all there. All the strings are there. All these things are up there. There's no chunks or flaking. When I flip this over, I hope it's not cracked. Doesn't look like it's cracked. Looks like it's all in good shape. Got some other things down. I don't know what that stuff is. Maybe just keep it flat. But a really, really cool sounding guitar. I don't know if I'll keep it or sell it. It's something that will be a pain to ship. Um, but I don't really play the guitar. I don't play any instruments. Um, and if I end up selling it, I'll have to do a little bit more research because I don't think it's a $100 guitar. I think it's worth a little bit more than that. So I probably want to let it go for like probably under a hundred if I end up selling it, but I'll probably keep it for the time being. Yeah, I don't think it's going on eBay anytime soon. Anyway, it was a fun sale. 
first kind of a large rummage sale of the season. I know we went to one the other day um, or the other week, but this is definitely one of my favorite ones. This is the Red Door rummage sale. And uh, what should you say like that? Anyway, it's been a fun one. Thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.